Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, this will be less than two minutes. So I hope you have less than two minutes worth of time that you can't ever get back. Just to let you know, uh, we're going to be doing videos on the Redress Right channel. Literally, re it's called the OG Redress Right channel. OG Redress Right channel. But it's the Redress Right channel. The link will be underneath this video. We're going to be talking about judges' fidelity and or exceptional obligations bond. I'll be doing several videos on that. We'll also be talking about magistrates and the so-called bankruptcy courts because they don't all hold the same position. So we're going to show you the codes that require this and the reason for the requirement. And if any of those agents, public officials, which technically they have a contract with government, to represent government, so if they violate the terms of that contract, i.e. the oath of office, they can be held accountable, and that's why you file a claim against their bond, including peace officers. Every peace officer must have a bond. People are not filing claims against the bond, and they are going into court, and they're sitting up there looking dumbfounded when they walk away. So, ladies and gentlemen, less than two minutes, we'll be talking about the legal aspects of things. On the readers' right! Channel, gotta go. Underneath the video is the link. Goodbye.